Hello, everyone. My name is Alex. I'm the founder and CEO of Parlay. And what we do is that we help SBA lenders get more small businesses approved for loans. And we do that because the current system is failing our small business community. Four out of five SMBs struggle with access to capital, and 60% are turned down nationwide. Those are horrible numbers. And by the way, that costs you as a lender time and money, and it could cost that small business their entire livelihood. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we change that process from a very difficult and disempowering process into one that you can execute efficiently while keeping your funnel full and getting more small businesses the yes that you wanna give them without changing risk and finally helping you maximize your customer lifetime value. So let's check it out. All right, so as relationship lenders, you guys know the early part of your pipeline is a massive bottleneck. You could spend up to 75% of your time chasing down small businesses, trying to get the information you need to figure out whether this is a good deal and whether it's a viable deal where the applicant is eligible. This is because most small businesses need more insight and more guidance from their lenders to get across the finish line. Using our platform, you can do that. So what I'm showing you here is the small business portal that you can extend to your small business applicants and that they can work in in a self-serve format. Inside it, what they get to see is they get to see their loan readiness, how are they doing with their application and how ready are they to submit. They get a view of their process timeline, where are they in the process and what does this look like end to end. And finally, they have a series of yes, no workflows that they have to complete that helps them generate that information that they struggle to get to you, um, that you need to do your job. For example, just like TurboTax, I know that's trite, but it's a good, it's a good simile in this case, helps applicants and, and people who wanna file their taxes get their tax forms done completely. We help small businesses do the same thing with SBA forms, traditionally not a pleasant type of form to fill out. For example, Form 1919, small businesses make a lot of errors around. And so we worked with 200 lenders across the country to identify common error points and drop-off points, and then turned that into an easy workflow to help them generate that form itself. So for example, in this case, if I'm a small business, I'm gonna be asked to fill out ownership information for my business. And then I can answer yes, no questions. Am I the owner of the business? Yes, how is the business organized? Who runs the day-to-day -day operations? Who else owns that business or is there a co-applicant for this loan? At the end, I can confirm ownership based on what I've submitted and then the platform will figure out what other forms me and my co-applicants have to complete. And this allows you as a lender to wait for that information in its accurate and complete form to come to you. But we're also helping the small business get it to you in the first place. Now you can focus on your work, which is structuring those deals and not having to collect or correct paperwork. Okay, so that's how we make eligibility assessments for uh, SBA loans more efficient, which is phenomenal for the 40% of applicants who are probably gonna get to that yes. But what happens to the 60% that are currently not eligible? It's a real problem because you want to be able to give people a yes, but if they're not meeting your eligibility rate criteria, you, you simply can't right now. And so the current state is that you have to give them a no which is problematic, no one likes saying no, and SMBs that get told no are likely to fall out of your funnel and go to a competitor. The challenge there is that a subset of that 60% could actually be a great customer for your financial institution, maybe six, maybe 12 months from now, and we wanna give them that opportunity. So what if we could give them a not yet instead of a no? That's what you can do with our platform. So we have a readiness capability that assesses based on the SBA's SOP and your underwriting criteria, what that small business that's not yet eligible needs to do to improve their chances of getting to a yes. So our platform creates a next best action recommendation for the small business so that they know where they should focus their time to get to that yes. And that is crucial for two reasons. One, it builds trust. Two, it lets them know there's an open door there for them. It's not a shut door, it's an open door, where fundamentally in time as they continue to improve that, you can get them to that yes, you've kept your funnel full, and in early work with some of our partners, we've actually seen a 64% increase in conversions using this tool. 
And by the way, as a lender, you can then see how your pipeline is doing. Who's ready right now? Who's still working on that readiness? So you can determine where to focus your time. This is the lender dashboard. You can figure out where to focus your time. And um, you can also do that drill down applicant by applicant to understand where to help them best. OK, so I've shown you how we can more efficiently assess eligibility. I've shown you how we can get more small businesses to a yes or a not yet that ultimately converts to a yes. Now, how do we make sure that we can maximize the customer lifetime value for you of that given applicant? That's the goal here too, right? We wanna get yeses and we wanna get profitable good yeses for your financial institution. With Parlay, you can do that at the point of application because each application teaches you something about the small business, what their capital needs are, what their industry is like, what their growth rate is and how you can help them grow and become an excellent long-term sticky customer for your financial institution. So inside our platform, as an applicant is filling out their information, we're able to see what the estimated lifetime value is of that customer, whether they are a good core customer for your financial institution or whether they're more of a transactional rate shopper. And then we can also surface based on their NAICS code what other products they might need from you. So then you can be strategic with pricing that loan or figuring out if there's an opportunity to cross sell. Maybe they'll bring across their deposits for a decrease in the interest rate. Win-win, you get to close more deals but also maximize that lifetime value and profitability while helping them with their strategic growth. In sum, we do three things for mission-driven lenders that care about small businesses. One, we help you efficiently assess eligibility. Two, we help you get more yeses and keep that funnel full. And three, we help you maximize the profitability and lifetime value of those small businesses. If you are an SBA lender, we'd love to talk to you and help you reach those customers that you're currently struggling to reach. If you're interested in learning how you might be able to become an SBA lender or grow that, we'd love to help you. Together, let's get more small businesses to a yes or at least a not yet. Thank you so much.